There you go. Big news this morning on Winter Storm Juno. The storm has the potential to create some real hazards on the road. So the question this morning, what can you do to protect yourself when driving in this dangerous winter weather? To help us out, we call Lauren Fix, also known as the car coach. Good morning to you, Lauren. Lauren, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so what are the, some of the most common mistakes that folks make whenever we're talking about a winter storm of this magnitude? Well, I think sometimes I think, oh, I can make it through. My car is perfectly fine. I don't have any problems with it. In reality, having your car perfectly maintained, which means taken to an ASC certified mechanic, is probably the smartest thing you could do. Lauren, one, one question for you is, is we've seen this play out recently in Michigan, in Oregon, and, and last weekend in Philadelphia, the issues with black ice. What is the best way for drivers to handle that? Well, one of the things, and this is very common, you've seen a lot of pileups lately. It started about two weeks ago or more in Battle Creek, Michigan. And now that we have, it just happened here in Buffalo last night. I went to the grocery store, it was light rain. I come out and it's a skating rink and you couldn't even see it in the parking lot, let alone on the roadways. So the first thing you need to do is the same thing that I did with my vehicle. And I have snow tires because when you live in the northern end of this country, you should have snow tires. I put two tires on the side of the road that are in the snow. The snow that's been building up on the side of the road road and leave the other two on the black ice because you can't drive on the edge of the road completely. This allows you to give you some traction at least on one side of the car and also gives you the ability to stop and turn. And obviously the biggest thing is to give yourself more distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. And remember everything has got to be soft. Don't aggressively hit the gas, don't aggressively hit the brakes because you will slide. So Lauren, okay, we're talking about black ice, but what about the fact that we could see up to two feet of snow? That means you're not getting anywhere if you're on some of those roads. What kind of supplies should we have in our car? Well, that is true, and I do live in Buffalo, and I'm heading to New York tomorrow, and I'm thinking, oh boy, I'm going right into the heart of Juno. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but uh, first thing I'm going to do is the same thing I suggest you do. Make sure you have a self-enclosed battery jumper or a jump starter. I'm not going to rely on jumper cables to find another vehicle who could potentially line their battery up to mine. Uh, number two, I'm going to have a tire inflation product because changing a spare tire, whether you can or cannot, whether you have one or you don't, in this sub-zero cold weather with snow can give you frostbite. So stay in the car. If you need to use those, get the help, use a road service, and of course, bring a cell phone charger. Okay, Lauren okay. Fix, the car coach, saying thanks so much for your time and on that trip you're taking to New York. Be careful. <laughs> it's going to be rough out there, folks. Juno has all the makings of a long-lasting winter storm.